Hello, Skorai community. Um, so my name is Robert, and um, I was the one um, sending you this idea on, on the listserv that um, it would be great to, to improve the Wikipedia article on sustainable consumption, and maybe in the future create another one for sustainable production, and just utilize all the knowledge and expertise um, that we have in-house in the community. Um, so that every if everyone was to to just add a little bit, like just a few sentences to to this page, um, it would greatly enhance first of all the visibility of our work, and um, just provide, yeah, this knowledge on sustainable consumption um, to the public domain to the Creative Commons um, for everyone to use and and better understand the concepts of sustainable consumption. So, yeah, given that background, um, Philip asked me to um, make a short guideline or a short tutorial um, that shows how to actually edit and add content to, to Wikipedia for those who have no experience yet with Wikipedia. And um, since I'm more into um, the idea of video tutorials, and screencasting than um, just written text. Um, I thought, like, huh? Let me let me quickly demonstrate that in a video. It's it's more interactive. It's it's more clear what I'm referring to. And for so, and yeah, m most importantly, it's it's much more exciting for me to do that than to to sit in front of my computer and and just hit the keyboard. Right. So let's say Philip already mentioned some some concrete things that could be added to the to the page, which includes the sustainable development goals, the 10 YFP score, I, which would be then a really good link to us and GRF, etc. So if we go back um, to the page, so this is just really what you should see as well. If you just go on Wikipedia, look for sustainable consumption, and that's the article you should see as well. Um, the, 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 the only difference might be that I I'm already logged in with my own account, so this menu bar is probably different for you. So what's generally um, good to know about Wikipedia is that it's very open in the sense that you don't even need an account to edit articles. If you don't have an account, though, they lock your IP address. That, but that's just something that they do in order to uh, make sure that let's say there's major fraud happening on wikipedia they could at least try to trace it back to to a person that did it um this change right um so it really depends on on how frequently you intend to edit an, this article page or in general wikipedia um if you if you intend to do that quite more often i would just recommend you to to create an account i mean it's it's very easy let's let's go to, to wikipedia with an anonymous account, and then you would see this entry, create account. Then you think about a username for yourself, you give yourself a password. You can add an optional email address, which is useful to receive notifications by email if someone is changing an article and you watch this page. It's useful to just be notified about changes to, to certain pages that you're interested in. Yeah, you pass a security check and you should be done. And once you've created your account, you can log in, right? Your username, your password, you can be kept locked in for 30 days. And then you hit login. There we go, done. Right, let's get back. So this is what you should see. I'm not sure though, if you see this entry, the edit entry, you might, I think you, you would definitely see the edit source entry. Um, if you click on edit source, you can start to edit um, any given article on Wikipedia. But now comes the but. As you can see, this is very cryptical. Wikipedia uses its own um, markup language to format text. So for example, to create a subheading you need to indicate the subheading with these two equal signs. If you want to make a heading which is one size bigger, so 
a major heading, so to say, you would indicate this with just one equal sign. So we could write another heading, then we close it. So you always open a tag and you close a tag. And now we click on show preview to get an instant preview of our change. So as you can see, this one precedes the Oslo definition heading and it's bigger. It's one size, one level bigger than the Oslo definition. Right, so this is the standard way of editing Wikipedia. So just hit on edit source and you start making your changes. Um, there is a little bit of help here for you to, to format it. So let me see. Yeah, you click on advanced here. Um, this drop down menu opens and you have a little bit of support for formatting if you're not so much into this formatting language. Um, I suggest to just experiment a little bit with this. I mean, there's many options, right? You, there's always there's also options um, to reference, to cite, to insert special characters. What I did personally, because I don't really like this old school interface. Um, let's go back. We don't want to save. What I did, I ena I enabled some some beta features. So I clicked on beta, which forwards me to my preferences. So it's my user account preferences, special page, then the tab beta features. And I automatically enabled all new beta features. I did this because there's some of the features that, for example, add um, one at least one very useful feature um, which allows me to edit a page in this very visually appealing mode. So in contrast to the edit source, which really just provides me with the source code, this markup language, this newly added tab to edit basically shows me the page with, an, with direct possibility to edit text. So I could just do something here, make some changes here, um, insert a new heading, again, the heading, and then I click on heading, or I click on page title, or I click on pre-formatted. Yeah, as you can see, much more appealing. <laughs> the same goes for inserting links. You can insert links to Wikipedia pages, to external links by providing the URL, for example, this insert this one here, click on done, then it would insert a link. I can cite by clicking on cite. I can do that automatically, providing a URL, a DOY, manually, website news, book journal. I can reuse existing ones of this page, let's say Young and William, Zack, automatically edit. I click on save page. I describe what I did. I probably want to watch this page for changes. And before hitting save, I can review my changes to see what I actually did. And it provides you with this very nice um, visual diff of what you did. Yeah, return to save form. I'm not saving this one now, just because it just did rubbish. <laughs> so what we, how we, the way we could proceed is um, to, yeah, individually add our knowledge the, the things we find important to mention for sustainable consumption, and then thereby slowly build up this page um, to become the central resource for Scorai to um, share expertise on Wikipedia. And once we've grown so big, we can think about our own Scorai page, right? So this, yeah, as you can see, approaching free recording limit, I need to stop here. <laughs> um, but I think I've mentioned most of the concepts. If you have any questions, well, you can always ask me. You know, my email, it's on Scorai, it's on, on, on scorai.org, listserv. So yeah, there's always a way to, um, by which I can help, I guess. <laughs> okay, um, I hope that was useful and I wish you happy Wikipedia editing. Bye-bye.